Hi everybody, Dave from Mathagon here, and I'm excited to show you our Polypad updates for May and June of 2022. Here I am on a canvas where I have some algebra tiles on the canvas and on the balance scale. And the new feature is the ability to change the size of the algebra tiles on the canvas. So you can see in the tile panel, we have a new slider underneath the algebra tiles. And when I move that slider, all, all the X tiles on the canvas change size. The X squares, the XY tile, the negative X tile, and so on. And there's a slider for the Y tiles as well. As you may know, the value of X is five on Polypad. And you can see as I'm changing the size of the algebra tile, X stays five. So this is just the size of X, not the value of it. If you wanna learn how to change the value of the X and Y tiles, you can click on this question mark here to get some instructions on how to work with algebra tiles. But our new feature is the ability to change the sizes of the tiles. I'm gonna scroll down the canvas and share some other new features. Here are some dice on the canvas. I'm gonna roll them all, that's not new. What is new is this, this new button in the action bar called tabulate. And when I do that, you can see I get a table of all the numbers that I've rolled. And when I roll the dice again, the numbers change in the table. So this time I got seven sixes. Uh, I can change how the table will tabulate the data. So currently it's going to, it's on re replace mode, which means each time I roll the dice, the numbers will get replaced. I'm gonna change it where every time I roll the dice, the number I rolls, uh, the number I roll gets added on to what's already in the table. So after two rolls of these 20 dice, I have 11 sixes. Now I have 17 sixes and so on. I can keep doing that. There's also uh, a new feature is I can make a chart directly from a table. So when I click on the table, you can see one of the options is a column chart. I'll drag it over here. And now that chart is attached to the table. The table is attached to the dice. So when I roll these multiple times, the data in the table and the chart automatically updates. So really nice feature I'm excited to use with students. Um, and this tabulate and chart feature will work with all of our probability tools. So you can see here on the canvas, I have, I have nine sp spinners. I'll tabulate that and I get a chart of all the colors and I'm gonna make uh, a circle chart out of those. So I do that and you can see as I spin the spinners, the table and the chart automatically update. So you can see the more I spin, the more my chart should begin to look like what I have on the spinners. So that is uh, super fun. You can also do it with spinners and dice and coins all on the same table. So I'm gonna select these spinners and the coins and click tabulate. And you can see I get a table of the coins and the spinners all at the same time. So that's a really nice feature as well. And the final thing to share is a new feature on our number cards. So I'm gonna go up to the number section here. I'm gonna add a hundred number card to the canvas. The new option is split. And this can be really helpful for students who are thinking about place value of numbers. So I'll do split and there are 10 tens. I'll split again and there are a hundred ones. I can merge it back together into a hundred to get back where I started. Let me show you a few quick things here. I'm gonna enter in the number 453, put it on the canvas, split. The first time that it splits, it goes to the hundreds, the tens, and the ones. I'll merge that back together just to show it again. I'm gonna click split. I get 450 and three. When I split again, you can see now there's the hundreds, the tens, and the ones. Let me move this out of the way and just show you that it works with the thousands as well. So I'll do 3,842. I can split that up in the same way. Now I have all these number cards on the canvas. I want to try to get a sense of what's happening with all of these. So one of the other options is organize. And you can see when I, when I click organize, all the number cards that are the same get grouped together. I could merge those 10 hundreds that I've selected, and that'll become a thousand. I'll, or, oh, I'll organize them again, and then merge them to get to 4,395. 
So that's a really um, nice feature that we've added. Finally, uh, a small feature just to share is now one on any, on any tile, when you click on the tile and you rotate the tile, you can see the number of degrees in that rotation. So there I'm doing it on a number card. Let me zoom out and show you that it works on a table. As I rotate the table, you can see the number of degrees of the rotation. It'll work on an algebra tile and so on. So all of those, um, that feature works on any tile that you can rotate on Polypad. Thanks for checking out this video. I am really excited about all these new updates. Please share with us how you use them in your classes. We love to see Polypad in action. Thanks for watching.